Greetings and welcome to Jeddah for what promises to be a sensational slice of world-class motorsport. We're off to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Anthony Davidson is with me once again to take you through today's action. And we have plenty of twists and turns to come over the next hour or so, I'm sure. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position. But are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? Besides that, of course, any kind of turn one incident could completely turn the race on its head. Let's keep our fingers crossed everyone can get through in one piece. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Vettel, Ricardo, Ocon, Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track.
Nice move. Good job. You have P19. Latifi is ahead of you. Gap to car in front is 12.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Verstappen behind. The gap behind us is 18.8 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap.
OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. And that brings the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix to a close then, as we reflect on the team's impressive performance today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Yuki Tsunoda gets my vote today. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.